I started off in um, natural sciences as a medical doctor um, and developed an interest in how environment uh, can improve the health, well-being, quality of life of people. Um, and I also saw science as being an inherently creative practice and quite early on in my career I started to collaborate with designers and architects uh, in order to find ways of uh, shaping the environment. Well, my relationship with Thoughts was actually uh, an inspired one. Um, it's incredible to be connected with people that really are very keen to find out how we're going to create real change and not just talk about it. So I love their passion and um, their practicality. I also think that creating a forum in which these unconventional discussions can take place, you know, that it's a, it's a safe place to hold uh, new ideas. Machine thinking is really the underpinning philosophy of modern science and technology. One of the issues with machine thinking and its obsession with geometry and objects is that it necessarily produces closed solutions. Once you have built something, there is a certain amount of obsolescence in it because it cannot respond to environmental solutions. And it adds layers of complexity um, that really start to introduce things like lag um, into you know, our experience of engineering, construction and architecture. Over the last hundred years we've had a science that's been characterised by complexity and also quantum mechanics, which for me is a very exciting way of thinking about particularly the material world, which through these lenses starts to become surprising, um, it starts to become robust and it becomes incredibly dynamic, which is one of the things that we lose when we um, look at things as if they're machines, because we see the materiality of machines as being inert until we vitalise it with information technologies. Stories inspire. You can give people as many facts as you have in your bag and you won't persuade them a thing. But if you tell them a story and, and keep the framework open so they can incorporate that into their experience of the world, then I think that's exactly when you start sowing the seeds of change.